GDI versus PFI fuel injection. Multipoint or port fuel injection means there is a separate fuel injector for each cylinder that sprays fuel into the intake port, right before the intake valve. Gasoline direct injection or GDI is a more advanced version of multipoint systems in which fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber instead of the intake port. This improves combustion efficiency, increases fuel economy and lowers emissions. Diesel engines have long used direct injection, but it is only in the past few years that manufacturers have adopted it for widespread use in gasoline or petrol engines, as it is called in Europe. GDI was first used on the Mercedes Gullwing of the 1950s. It was later changed to regular injection. The biggest aspect of GDI is that gasoline is injected straight to the combustion chamber, as opposed to right before the intake valve. Port injection is a lot less precise, since the injection event happens at the intake port or manifold runner and stays there for a few seconds before being sucked to the cylinder. GDI directs the injection event right on top of the piston. The end result is reduced emissions, increased durability, more power and a vastly variable engine able to meet future demands. To be able to adjust the fuel event is extremely important for power generation. Before, the only adjustment possible was that of ignition timing. Then valve timing was developed and the gasoline engine was further improved. Now, with GDI things will go a lot further. GDI exerts its control into ways, by controlling fuel injection rate or amount and event timing. In GDI the fuel injection rate is controlled by pressure, which is held at a nominal 2200 psi or higher, as opposed to the 35 or 60 psi for port injection. The GDI fuel rail is also built sturdier to withstand these pressure and normally has an a wall thickness of about one eighth of an inch. Combined with multiple injection events, GDI can achieve combustion in less crankshaft rotational degrees than PFI. On PFI the injection even may last up to 360 degrees or more of crank rotation and the fuel stays in the manifold runners. On GDI stratified mode the injection event lasts between 0.4 to 5 milliseconds, which is much faster than PFI. The ECM can inject fuel after the exhaust valve has closed, called homogeneous injection or right before the ignition event, called the stratified mode, but more on that later. On these GDI engines everything is controlled and there is no room for mistakes. The injection pulses are controlled exactly, the amount of injection events are controlled, the pressure has to be on the dot and even the shape of the piston top is of absolute importance. The whole idea is to create an air swirl to be able to have a fully mixed air and fuel and even this air swirl is completely controlled by the electronics. All these systems will be discussed later in detail.